Welcome to a, another fantastic video by Mr. M with Project Paper Chase Records and GSA Industries. For this video, I am going to be taking this 24 volt beast module from battery hookup and converting it to a 12 volt unit. Uh, it does not take very long. It's a very straightforward process and uh, we will get through it very quickly. So thank you for checking this video out. Let's get right to it. So what we have here is a 24 volt beast module from battery hookup. Now what we're going to be doing with this particular unit, at least for demonstration purposes, is showing how to convert it to a 12 volt unit. So you could literally just plug it directly into your car without physically modifying it. Uh, with any great great detail however um, because I'm extracting cells from this unit rather than building a permanent drop in unit out of it I'm not going to actually do a complete job and and uh, put zero gauge wire everywhere we'll just do a very very basic a very basic rundown of how you convert it to 12 volts so let's start uh, taking some readings and uh, look at the different plates that are on it and we'll walk through the process of converting it to a 12 volt unit. So as I mentioned, okay, this is your two terminal plates. What we're gonna do is measure the voltage just to show that it is in fact a 24 volt. We'll determine which one's positive, which one's negative just for the sake of knowing. So we got 26.4 volts. Uh, this is positive, this is negative. If I flip them around, be negative 26 volts. So, so we know that this is your positive plate here. So we might as well mark it. Oops. That's not working. Anyway, that's good enough for what we need. That is enough. So the way it goes is the, as we determine this is your plus and this is your minus. Now I always like to uh, start with one for my positive plate. And then basically every time there's a new battery, you count your next plate. So we go one, there's this plate in between here, two, then on the back here, three, then through these ones, four, and on the back here, five, Six, back to back. seven, eight, and this is plate nine. So what we're going to do is remove plate five and cut it in half. So instead of the circuits running through eight sets of cells, it'll only run through two sets of four, and then we're gonna connect those in parallel. So that's the next thing we're gonna do. So now that we're pulling off the five plate, we're gonna take it and cut it. So now we've got our two end plates. Got one for here, 
that one over there. So what this is going to do is create two 4S banks in parallel. Now, as you can see, this one is positive and this one is negative, which means since we're running through this four, this will be positive and be the one plate for the 4S bank. This will be the one plate on the other 4S bank. This will be the five plate on this other 4S bank. So what that's going to mean is we're going to need to put jumpers on. I'm going to shorten those, but anyway. Jumpers from plus to plus and from minus to minus. So we'll connect these plates and connect these plates to create a 96 amp hour 12 volt bank. So now this is bolted back into place. We'll just do a quick check to confirm what we already thought. Like I said, once again, you have a one and a five plate and a five and a one plate. We're going to connect the two ones and connect the two fives. And then we'll have a uh, two 4S6P banks connected in parallel to each other, making a 4S12P bank or 96 amp hours. Uh, and we'll have a total of 12... 12.8 volts or whatever this is 13.25 this will be the opposite polarity negative 13.26 so now all we need to do is connect some jumpers and then you can literally bolt your your power jumper or your power uh connections to either a a uh a distribution block or to another another uh headway bank or or whatever uh how you're gonna hook it up to your particular system um, and then balancing is a another another story because you will need positive negative and then you will need to connect to your both of your um, three plates and both of your two and four plates um, so you need one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight wires to be connected in total um, uh, to get a balancer connected to all of the cells because the intermediate plates aren't connected, just your ones and fives. But anyway, I'll make, put, make some jumpers and then we'll give that a test. So the next thing to do once we have the, the four plates on the end, separating the, the 8S into a dual a dual 4s uh banks we need to put jumpers connecting our various uh our two five our two ones and our two five plates so i've gone ahead and made some jumpers for that these are regular 5 16th bore uh lugs i'm using four gauge again i wouldn't probably use four gauge if i was actually going to be using this this is just for demonstration purposes so in order to uh, get this to read out 12 volts and have all the cells connected. Uh, that's why I'm putting these jumpers on. The existing hardware is about, it looks like it's about uh, 8 millimeters of thread. So going through basically your copper plate, let's see, and your lug. Where are we here? You don't have a lot. I mean, there's enough to grab, but, but uh, we're just going to swap that out for these uh 12 millimeter ones here um see that she's got a little bit more grab let's see how that compares to that it's actually maybe a bit too long hopefully we don't go too far hmm. no that's not gonna go too far okay so First things first, we're doing our ground. So we'll do this one. And then do this guy. We'll just come back when that's done. So there's your two jumpers connected. Uh, one of the things I should have mentioned is that these are uh, M, where are we here? M6 bolts. Um, so if you're looking for hardware on uh, Amazon or at a local shop or wherever you're going to get your hardware from, these are. Uh, M6 threaded bolts. 
So we now have all the cells connected, uh, two parallel banks connected at your ones and fives, or one and one and five and five. And what we would expect to see, what we're going to see, is that we are reading, I think it's 13 points, um, three volts or whatever, 13.26 volts. So that's what we would expect to see. These are fully charged cells. Um, and that is, that is it. That is the modification to convert the entire 24, 24 volt beast module into a 12 volt beast module. Um, again, these are four gauge jumpers. I would probably use something bigger than that if I was going to actually be putting this in a car, but functionally this will, will work. Um, these wires might start to get quite hot because I mean they're very short um, and I would probably even go shorter if I wasn't just using scraps just for demonstration purposes. You can bolt your power wires directly to these but again you'd have to use extended hardware because it's these are a little bit the uh, provided hardware is a little bit short for that. So that is it for the Beast module 12 volt conversion. And like I said, you can just connect jumpers from any of these positive volts. There's one, two, three, uh, five, ten. Ten positive and ten negative volts that you could theoretically put lugs on. I know that the geometry might not quite allow that. Um, and then have them tied into a distribution block or your existing system. Um, I didn't go through connecting a balancer or removing all of the existing uh, wires. I'm going to go through and just cut all of those off because I won't be using them. Um, and then maybe do a little chat about um, connecting a balancer to this. So that's it for the Beast module 12 volt conversion. One thing I wanted to mention is that the the if you are running the, the beast module to a distribution block um, the jumper cables here become somewhat or actually completely redundant if you ran a single one zero from this number one plate to a distribution block and a single one zero from this dis uh, this one plate to a distribution block you're essentially doing the exact same thing as this is doing or the distribution block is doing the exact same thing as this cable is doing and then the same goes for this one if you're running your your uh your some wires directly your one zero wire directly from your five plate to your ground and then from this one directly to ground uh then you're just these jumpers become redundant anyway i do it like this just because i like to have a, a functioning unit on its own and if for whatever reason you only ran one positive wire directly to an amp or something like that then it would still uh, still function properly um, without without uh, going to a distribution block technically if you had multiple wires going one from each number one plate to the two positive terminals on the amp anyway there's lots of variations and different ways you could wire it up this is one way this is showing you where the positives and the negatives need to come off of to make it work with the cut in the in the five plate. Anyway, that being said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I would love it. I would love, love, love it if you hit that subscribe button. Maybe hit the like button. Go check out some of the other videos on Mr. M Full Send. Uh, check out the GSAindustries.ca website. Lots of great apparel. Um, and some uh, some new products coming very shortly, uh, specifically the Bubba 822s and 824s. They are 8-inch subs. They're going to be fantastic, um, and they're going to be very affordably priced. So anyway, once again, thanks for checking out this video, and thank you for your support. As always, existing support, new support, all support. We love it. We appreciate it. Thank you.